Hello everyone. In this session, we will do installation of Oracle EBS release 12.4 on the Oracle Virtual Box. But what we are going to use is we are going to use the VM Virtual Appliance, which is available from Oracle. So that will reduce our timelines to install any EBS for our testing purpose. So let's go to next our slide and we'll follow step by step process on that. And I'm going to use my laptop for that. So what another thing is we don't need a DBS scales for that and very simple process for EBS installation. What is the agenda for today is we, what we'll review is hardware environment, then installation of virtual box, download of virtual media, then unzip media, and then import media from your destination folder to virtual box and then start the virtual box appliance and then we will see how we can install the we start the edb and ebs services and and in the last step we are going to access our newly installed ebs application so this is the agenda for today let's go step by step first step is what will be the hardware environment or in another word what i'm going to use it my host computer as a host computer, we need a one host computer laptop to install VirtualBox. And with me, I'm using my laptop with the Windows 7. And then we need another host operating system that it will be installed on the VirtualBox. But we don't need a separate host operating system because in the virtual appliance, we are going to get as a part of virtual appliance. And then minimum, we need a 64-bit processor with the hardware virtualization because oracle ebs suite virtual box appliance is coming with the 64 bit and i'm going to use a virtual box appliance on the single node vision appliance installation and my hardware and ram requirement is minimum we need 6 gb what i'm using in my laptop 8 gb and then on the disk space required hard disk required minimum 60 gb required for to download media then we need to unzip for that we need another 6 db and then we need to make a one ova file from that unzip media and then we need another 300 gb for virtual box network we are going to use the default installation setup as a bridge network configuration i will show you how to do that now first step is to download install virtual box so for that what we will do is we will go to otn oracle technology network website and we will install download the virtual box and after the installation after the download then as a second step will follow to install the virtual box if you can see we'll go to the virtual box and click on snack step and you will find oracle virtual box setup guidelines and you just need to choose the default setting if you want to change or if you some location then you can change it but otherwise you don't need i will follow the step click next and then we'll go to the next slide that is to download VirtualBox appliance from e-delivery website and you can you need to write down in your web on the internet explorer e-delivery.oracle.com and it will give you the success this page and then you need to log in with your username and password which you have with for you or your company because whoever is having Oracle support access or he's having a licenses of that or any product he, has, he must have access on that and let's go to the next step that is to download a virtual box appliance we'll choose to select a virtual product as a with oracle vm template platform will choose as a x6664 bit and then we'll click on go next we'll get oracle vm virtual appliance for oracle business we release 12.2.4 this is what we are going to use for our purpose We'll click next on that and then we'll find out a different virtual appliances right now oracle has released single node vision demo then widget demo database tier then production pro database tier application tier and sparse application tier so you can download appliances on following which we have just mentioned that what but i'm going to use a single node vision demo and here is the download media which you which will be going to download from the oracle e-delivery website here are you can see 16 files are there you need to install one you need to download one by one all these files 
after downloading this the time depend on your bandwidth or network connectivity because whatever the network you have and once we have downloaded this media then we'll go to and you you can see here we have downloaded ebs virtual box appliances so all these files downloaded from the media now another step is what we need to do is we need to whatever we have downloaded from this we need to un these are zip files so we need to unzip it to unzip it we can follow two processes if you already have some linux installation in virtualbox you can go and you can access this media in linux environment and you can follow unzip command to unzip all this media which we just downloaded and if you don't have any Linux environment, what you can do, you can follow another Windows method, which I have mentioned here. You can go to Windows and simply right click on that and you will find out unzip command and you can unzip all the files, whatever you have right now with you. We'll go to, the, so with this method, you will be able to unzip all the files of which will apply. After the unzip of these plans, then what we can do is we need to do as a second step, we need to concatenate these unzipped files by following cat command. So I'm going to show you here, you need to write cat Oracle Ebs Suite which install OVA and you will then press backslash and put all these files which you have unzipped it. And then this process will start and then it will concatenate and eventually you will get a 60 GB of one another file with the name of Oracle eVision Suite 12.2.4 vision install.ova. This is the final file which we got as as a as a OVA file to import into our virtual box. So till now we have downloaded the media, we have unzipped into our environment for unzip you can use or Oracle or Linux or you can use Windows standard facility for that unzip utility after that we need to make a concatenate all these 15 files into one file by following the cat command and this is what i'm following i'm using it cat command as in linux environment and if you want to use in the windows you can go and you can use the copy command with the switch slash y and slash backslash b and then you can put all the files name which you have downloaded 15 ova files and this will give you a concatenate one file of ova so both method I'm, I'm showing you here then what we'll do we'll go to the next step and we'll go to import virtual box implies and we'll go to implies to import and here we'll go and we'll choose our EBA Oracle Business Suite file that's OVA file and we'll click on open then we'll go and we'll you can see here Oracle OVA file is there we'll press next and then here we can adjust virtualbox settings based on the resource available because if you want to increase your hard your RAM, you can select here, or you can choose the destination file where the, your virtual box will be placed, that you can change it. After changing the appliance settings, and then you will click on next and you will find out that, that soft Oracle software license agreement that will say agree. And then we'll go to, and it, in this way, the import process will start. Here you can see the importing virtual desk, a disclaimer GPC 12.44 vision install and I'm just showing you these screen charts that this process is happening after this process will complete you will we will find out here is our imported file into virtual box now during import process it can take more time based on your RAM on the laptop after importing into virtual box now we can do we can simply just click on the start button and here is the virtual box is starting up start your virtual box and here you can see oracle linux server 6.5 is starting up after the start of this we'll go to next and we'll get a prompt for ebs login here is the EBS login. Now, what we need to do is we need to enter the password for following users, a root user, Oracle, APPLMGR. So I will show you here, we'll enter the new password. I'll enter the password for the root user and I got a message that 
it's a dictionary word but okay fine we can go ahead and then retype the password for root and then we will enter another password for oracle then another password for APPLMGR. during this way we are able to complete our login process then you can see here initial startup process is happening the database started up start up and then you can see here application comp com com configuration of templates are happening and once this process will finish on three number screenshot you can see enter vision for configuration the vision demo instance enter none to log into the vm now in my case i have done i have entered the vision but nothing happened and it's just went back to the with linux prompt we'll click next and after that we got the linux prompt and login with oracle users now our oracle ebs is imported within the which within the oracle linux 6.5 version in the virtual box appliance here i will go and I'll, now i will log in with oracle password oracle username and oracle password after the login you can script to start oracle db and application service available so how to start the application service you we need to go to to use 01 install vision scripts these are the scripts available very simple straightforward scripts are available in oracle database and application services to install to start up on this location and what as a first step i'm going to do is i'm going to start vision db so i'll put this command and then also enter and we'll get to the next command here is you can see a database just starting up after the database started i thought that once database started we need to move switch to the APPLMGR user but actually this is not the case so thought to change the user to APPLM to start process apps process but what happened when i change the APPLMGR user then what happened start vision script can only be executed through oracle username you can see here the message is coming so after that what we have to do is i have what i did is i have login back to oracle user and then here is the start vision apps and other scripts we need to follow and then after executing this start we can have script you can see application is being started and here is finally also started and you can listen songs because during this, the application services, services startup, it will take a time. And we'll go to the next step here. Till this level, our database and application is started successfully with no error in Oracle Virtual Box. Now we'll go and we'll check our IP, what is the IP on the Virtual Box. Even this task, you can do it before but i am I'm, I'm before starting importing the implies but what i'm going to do i'm going to in this stage if command is equal to the ip config in windows which we used to do it so if 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 config is used to configure or view the configuration of network interface here you can see my ip is 192.168.113 and after getting this ip i will note down and then i need to go and i need to check my host name of the ebs url use via editor command this command will give us host name so here is the ip and then the ebs for example dot com that i also need to note down and these are the commands i have written for you guys if you want to exit how to exit uh, from the vi command editor on the linux environment it's very simple just i need to quit all file opens so we need to to use this command after that we need to go to our laptop and we need to access windows system 32 drivers etc and host file in host file we need to put the ip and then the url name after entering into 12.2.4 virtualbox compliance i up ip into the host file we'll go to the next screen and we'll open the internet explorer and Internet Explorer will write on ebs.example.com with the 8000 as a port number. 
and we'll get you know we we can see the first login screen so it's me we are successful and we are able to establish our EBS on the virtual box then we'll click on next or we will enter the username and password and you can see here if we have successfully done it EBS 12.24 version installed and readily available and you can see we, we don't require any apps db skill to do all this installation we'll go to the next section items now what we need to do as call for action for you guys because i have done it now i want you to go back to your laptop and download today virtualbox supplies and follow step by step installation guidelines my staff beat me by posting your comments on this thread and i will love to hear from you what have you faced it how you have done it okay and then if you fail us any issue do let me know we'll help you out and then last join today oracle tech talks TV. these are the reference nodes being followed for this installation you can see a few of the nodes on the my oracle support and then few of the blogs reference from the steven chan black and then you can see your VM template in virtual box. And the photos used on this presentation are from the Flickr.com photos. I really appreciate your patience with me. And with this way, our presentation is finished. Thank you very much. Have a good time. Bye-bye.